Blessings everyone, my name is Reverend Afrin. I am in the process of attempting to do some online vlogs and webcam stuff, and this is my first video. Actually, that's not true. This is probably like my fourth or fifth video. Um, I've had to delete it a whole bunch of times. So, um, greetings. Thank you for watching. Um, I am the Shrine Keeper of the Four Pillars Witten Shrine. I have my second degree and I'm currently working on studying for my third degree in the Karelian Nativist tradition. I would like to do more online work and maybe potentially do online workshops, online rituals, um, online vlogs, things of that nature. So I am attempting to do uh, some work with my computer here and I just purchased a new webcam and I have no idea how to use it. So um, I'm giving it the old college try though and we'll see what happens but um, so uh, this is the video yeah um, so I'm actually in my shrine room right now and uh, as you can see behind me I have a lot of my shrine my shrine stuff um, I'm uh, Wicca and Karelianism is is my spiritual home and it's where I think I'll probably always be and where I belong um, but I am very eclectic in my in my studies and in my understanding and I have I have a background in religious studies I have a bachelor's degree in religious studies and I've been continuing to study religion uh, on my own for a really long time um, I've studied a lot of a lot of religion and um, I think that you'll see a lot of that uh, and a lot of influence from that um, in the videos that I post and in the discussions that I have and in the comparative um, concepts that I s discuss between Wicca and other forms of paganism, between Wicca and other forms of religion. Um, that's just something I've always been interested in and hopefully you'll find interest in that also. Um, so behind me you'll see I have uh, I have some books over this way here and um, this is only a fraction of the books that I have. Um, you'll see over here I have some of my, you can't really see it, um, you'll see over here I have some of my chalices um, down that way and uh, up here I have some Buddhas and I have a mala here and over here I have another Buddha, really nice Buddha back there and I have a Kuan Yin um, shrine there and up here um, I have a statue of Bast and one of my censers and I have some more uh, Buddhas up here. You'll also see right here I have an icon of the Virgin Mary and uh, baby Jesus that was gifted to me from a friend who visited Russia and um, she brought it back from a monastery there. It's an Orthodox icon and behind that, uh, you can't really see it right now, but behind that there is also an icon of Saint Joseph who uh, is another Orthodox icon and then of course you see the prayer flags up there. We also have more prayer flags outside um, so you'll see a lot of uh, iconography, you know, around around the shrine of, of other things as well. Um, the uh, Four Pillars Shrine also has other shrines and things, uh, but directly behind me, which I'll show you in a minute, is uh, are the main altar of the Four Pillars Shrine, and I'll show you all that. Um, it's partially decorated for the next Sabbath, but It'll, it'll be completed by the time the Sabbath comes around. Um, that's part of the reason why I would like to do this introductory video because I'm hoping to do more videos of Sabbaths, Esbots, workshops, all sorts of other things. So and I'm in the process of trying to figure this whole thing out um, and hopefully we'll get some good quality videos out of it. Um, so the Four Pillar Shrine also has a um, uh, Hokura uh, outside and a hokura uh, that's the Japanese word for it and a hokura is an outside shrine for some form of a nature spirit and they're very uh, basic and, and normally there's uh, offerings that are made and things um, the hokura that we have outside is a hokura um, for a nature spirit uh, I've always felt that um, frogs were my totem animal I, I love frogs and I love toads and so frogs have kind of always been my my totem animal and um, so the hokura that we have outside is actually a hokura for a um, frog kami and uh, I've given him the name um, Kairu no Kami. Kairu no Kami is Japanese for the Kami of Frogs. Uh, I don't know if that's the name that they give the Kami in Japan um, or if there's even a Kami uh, in Japan, worshipped in Japan with that name, but um, I felt that it was very appropriate and it's an outside 
nature shrine um, for members of the of the four pillar shrine to to see and to worship at if they so choose um, we also have uh, in another room we also have a kamidana and the kamidana is also another shinto shrine um, and the kamidana is uh, which means god's shelf in japanese and it's a it's a shelf and on the shelf is a replica of a shinto shrine or jinja and in there is a talisman with the name of a particular spirit or kami written on it and um, people make prayers and offerings to the kamidana as well and we also have one of those here um that we pay reverence to um it's uh, very i don't i don't feel that it that it conflicts in any way with with uh, wiccan or pagan practice um and i'm sure we'll discuss that future in the future as well um so the four pillar shrine although it is eclectic is a um uh, predominantly uh Karelian organization and as i said we are a witten shrine in the Karelian tradition the Karelian tradition has a series a level system when it comes to their shrines and the formality of each group and ours has been deemed as a witten shrine which is a formal group it's the step below um, a proto temple, which is uh, a, a group in the process of becoming a temple, and I hope at some point that eventually our group will become a temple. Uh, that's my that's my hope, anyway. Um, so the four pillar shrine is um, is dedicated to the purpose of fostering spiritual growth, and for the Wiccan community through regular regular teachings, uh, rituals, worship services, uh, and workshops. Um, we also encourage spiritual growth through devotional practices. Um, that's the main crux of the Four Pillar Shrine is devotion. Uh, devotion is a very lacking ta area in the pagan community and in the Wiccan community, in my opinion. Uh, I'm sure that there are other people who, who are very devoted and practice daily devotions and prayers and meditations daily. But generally speaking, I don't think a lot of people um, are practice as much devoted uh, devotion as, as other groups do. So... Uh, I, the, the whole purpose of, of the Four Pillars Shrine is is a, is to kind of cultivate that devoted devotional belief and practice in in daily life. Um, and you know, the Four Pillars Shrine hasn't necessarily been a trailblazer in that respect. We don't have, I, I haven't developed any lengthy liturgy or daily practices or things like that. Um, I did develop. Um, what what we call the four pillars devotion ritual, which is a ritual that um, is is very loosely based upon the regular Wiccan ritual, uh, the Karelian order of service, and um, but it uh, is a little bit freer, I think, than some of the other ones and uh, some of the the basic Wiccan ritual. And we'll talk probably more about that in future videos, and hopefully I'll be able to perform it um, on video as well to share with other people. Um, it's just one of the ways that we can try to keep a regular ritual that can help to build a devoted relationship. And I feel that devotion is, is very important and it's something that I strive in my daily life to, to do and I certainly hit the mark, or miss the mark rather. I don't hit the mark. But I, I hope that through the practice of, of, of our group and, and our shrine and things that people can, can find a way to have a devoted practice. I, I've read a lot about devotional practices in other faiths, um, and, I'm, and I really would like to cultivate devotional practices in, in, our, in our faith as well. Um, the Karelian tradition has been very helpful with a lot of this as well and I'll also include the link in the video to the Karelian website so anyone who's not Karelian could uh, read it and and, and learn uh, a little bit about what the tradition's about and I would also like to include in this video the um, link to the Four Pillars Shrine blog so that anyone could read that as well. Um, the Four Pillars Shrine uh, created a, a doctrine or a um, policy which we um, have adopted called the four principles and the four principles are these sort of guiding principles for members of the four pillar shrine as a way to help um, keep them on their on their devoted uh, religious path and uh, the four pillars uh, the four practices of our shrine are uh, study worship and devotion 
service and environmental sustainability and um, ecology. And I think that uh, ecology and environmental uh, participation is something that's also lacking in our community. Being a nature-based faith, I feel that it's important that we understand the environment, understand how we fit into the environment, understand how um, the animals and plants and things that we work with and we we um, live with, um, you know, work with the environment as well. So that's something that uh, I like to study, I, I'm interested in, I've read, you know, there's a lot of inf great information out there about environmentalism and ecological studies, things like that. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the four principles, again, uh, please don't hesitate to visit the blog. I really flush them out and really go in depth with, with them more um, on the blog. So I'm certainly hoping to have more more blogs in the future and more practices uh, televised, uh, videotaped and things in the future. So um, I hope that you enjoy and I hope that you uh, come back for more and get to see more videos of, of me and of, of the shrine, uh, things of that nature. Uh, before I sign off, I would like to show you the um, main altar of the Four Pillar Shrine, which is directly behind us. So here we go. I'm turning you around, turning you around, turning you around. There is a banner that I made, a Wiccan uh, a Karelian banner there. And uh, right over here is the main, um, the main altar there. And you'll see I have a beautiful singing bowl over there, and I have a, a god and goddess statue. I also have a statue of Thor there in the middle. Um, this is the main altar that we use for most of our rituals and things of that nature. So you'll probably see more of this later in the future. Um, well, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for for visiting uh, this web page and I'm going to try and share this video. Um, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see maybe, you just let me know and maybe we'll see if we can try to get some videos going for that. So thank you so much. Uh, signing off for now.